I'm Eliza. I'm the head gardener here at Woolly Grange Hotel. Christmas is really special here at Woolly. Um, I love filling the hotel with beautiful decorations. I hand make most of them from greenery that I've cut from the gardens. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas wreath. So all you'll need is a pair of secateurs, some wire cutters and a roll of florist wire which you can get from any florist or hardware shop or online. To make the wreath base you just need some flexible um, bendy branches to twist together. I'm going to use this um, weeping willow, actually we've got a couple of beautiful weeping willows at the front of the hotel just need to remove all the leaves and then they're great for, for weaving together. Take the a long one, just twist it round on itself to get a rough circle and then add another one and always twist in the same direction so I'd hold this in place and then just start weaving it through it starts off looking messy you don't worry and just keep on adding branches and twisting in if you've got bits sticking out you just want to tuck them back in as it gets stronger and sort of starts taking shape it, it sort of becomes easier to do and that's your main wreath base um, this will keep for, um, for quite a few years and you can just reuse it every year. But I'm going to add moss to this now um, and then all my foliage. So I'll start off by tying on the wire securely. Wind it around a few times and um, squeeze it on like that. And it's quite simple. You're just, I'm just going to cover it in moss like this and just keep on twisting, twisting the wire on. I mean, the beauty about this, you can't really um, see the wire. So it doesn't matter if you're a bit messy. And I'll go around just covering it like this. I finished the moss, but while the wire's still attached, um, I'm going to make the little, a little wire ring so we can attach the wreath to the door. Um, and you can do this just by making a little simple hoop like that. I'll twist it around. And that will be the centre of the wreath now, so you'll bear that in mind when you're decorating. That's the top and that's the bottom. But there you have the basic wreath. Um, and I'm going to add all the foliage, which is the fun bit. You can really use whatever you want, though, uh, as long as it's evergreen. Um, yeah, spruce is great. We also use a lot of bay um, box, works really well. Ivy, of course, and holly. And with the same technique, I'm going to touch the wire again. It probably starts at the top. Now I think about it, where's the little hoop? There's a the little hoop I've made. Get the wire nice and firm and then you're just going to make a little bunch of foliage so I'm going to try I'm going to have a couple of bits of the spruce two or three bits of the cypress and then maybe a couple of bits of the um, of the cedar That's it. And what you want to do is um, make a sort of fan-shaped shape. So you've got the tallest bits at the back. And just hold it on to the wreath here and then wrap 
the wire around really firmly so I'm going to go just to be extra secure four times round like that and then another one each um, bunch is going over over the last one and making sure you cover the wire from the last one I'm always surprised how much foliage um, you need to use. So I'm going to decorate it now and you can put whatever you like on it. While you're decorating, always bear in mind that that's the top there. Um, and then this is how it's going to hang. So I'll try and balance it. Uh, if you're putting anything really big on, perhaps keep it near the bottom um, and just have it nicely balanced, really. I try to not make it too symmetrical and give it a sort of natural look, more organic look. So if you're putting fir cones in, try and um, get them to look like they're sort of growing. Um, but you can just be creative as you, as you like. It's probably easier to put the bigger stuff on first. I've got some pine cones here that we were just collecting from the woods the other day, and these are rather nice because they've got lichen growing on them. Um, but yeah, because they're probably the biggest thing I'm going to put on, um, I'll do the first. So I've just put a little bit of florist wire, just cut a length of florist wire. You do need a pine cone that's open slightly, so a lot of the ones we've we found are still completely closed and um, you could put them in the oven to get them to open up or just leave them to open up but um, for now we're just going to I'm just going to use the ones that are already open slightly and however you can I just uh, attach the wire by just um, pulling it into the into the um, pine cone like that as long as it's um, got a length that's secure. got the fur cones on now and I'm going to put a few berries although I think I'm going to use some of these lovely rose hips we use rose hips obviously holly berries are nice um, cotoneaster works quite well um, and uh, haws look quite nice too um, or you can buy artificial berries but yeah I'm going, today I'm going to use some of these lovely orange rose hips you should just be able to pull back the foliage and you have to feel this a bit but you can feel uh, the framework and just nicely poke it into um, into the main wreath um, and again, I'll just try, there we go, getting it all the way around, not too symmetrical. So there, that's the rose hips. It's nearly finished. A nice thing to add is old man's beard. This grows everywhere. You see it growing all along the side of roads. Um, I picked this before it's gone too fluffy. Once it goes over, it gets very fluffy, which still looks really pretty. And it gets more of a sort of yellowy golden colour. But I quite like it before um, it's gone too fluffy. Um, and it's a really nice thing just to sort of fill in, especially if you've got any holes uh, or gaps. Um, and it just sort of softens the whole feel of the... Um, of the wreath so I'm just going to stick a few of these in it's quite subtle but it's just a nice a nice filler and it sort of brings brings it all together everything that I've put in today will easily last up until Christmas um, especially if you're spritzing it and there you have a beautiful Christmas wreath <laughs>